like eating cake, but without the gluten. Trust. Reboot. An afternoon siesta, bliss. Made me more like Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> when I came to Ziva, I was the most stressed person you could have ever met. I was making barely enough to pay my rent. I uh, was often eating beans out of a can. <laughs> and I now have my own business. I have, I'm making five times what I was. I have people who work for me. <laughs> I just feel like for the first time, I'm, I'm accomplishing things that I never even knew I could accomplish. The most important thing that Emily ever said to me was trying to get your brain to stop thinking is like trying to get your heart to stop beating. And the minute I let go of that responsibility, then meditation became something much more interesting so that I could allow myself to have my thoughts and yet um, sort of bring myself down to this very quiet, soft, safe place. And to stay there for 20 minutes doesn't feel like enough. I can't believe that Emily has gotten me to meditate because it's been half a decade of reading about meditation and talking about meditation. Meditation, as somebody else had put it to me, makes me a shinier, brighter version of myself. My business is very volatile. I'm a photographer, so like I don't know when the next job is coming. I don't know when the pay next paycheck is coming. I think meditation has definitely helped um, kind of calm me down with those thoughts and feelings. And I think the other big thing is jet lag. I just came back from Ghana on a 10, 10 hour flight, meditated three times. It's just like, it always surprises me how refreshed I feel after the flight. I'm kinder to myself and kinder to other people. I can take on a lot more in my life because I fuel up my tank every day, twice a day, um, and things don't seem as overwhelming and I sleep so much better. Meditation is definitely making me a better trainer. I think that one of the skills I've gotten is I can take in the question from one of our clients, uh, analyze it more fully, and then give a more clear and concise answer in a way that I probably wasn't doing as well before I started meditating. Since learning to meditate, my tension headaches are gone. I, I had some tendonitis, that's gone as well. And I haven't been sick which is amazing. I feel like I used to get whatever was floating around the city. There are very few uh, consensuses in the medical community and what I've gathered is that meditation is one of those things where like the consensus is just like it's one of the best things that you can do for your health. So I've been really you know wanting to try it just for that purpose just to see what it's like because I talk the talk. I really wanted to walk the walk and I thought that there was no better person to lead me down that path than Emily. I just feel like she's a very strong knowledge base and you can speak to her about anything and she, she always seems to have an answer. <laughs> she really does completely live, breathe, eat and sleep everything that she, that she preaches. She breaks down meditation in a very secular way so that the information is accessible to everyone and she also makes it really fun. I really feel that she's so well versed in this practice of meditation that there isn't anything that she kind of sees as a problem while you're going through it. It's really kind of more than you can ask for in any teacher.